in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you're welcome to another spirit filled message on people centric message if you're new to this channel I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted into you and then God is going to visit you your way thank you for watching be blessed and number five for the sake of our teaching tonight the fifth conduit by which the power of God is transmitted to the saints water I can spend the whole night teaching you on this mysterious entity called water I'm not teaching the worship of these things I'm educating your mind to understand how the supernatural happens this water you see is a very deep mystery Genesis 1 from verse 20 to 22 water is associated with abundance Genesis 1 and God said let's read together let the waters bring forth abundantly stop let the waters do what so the water is like a woman she can be pregnant and she can give birth to certain things abundance let the water why didn't God say let abundance come after all he said let there be light why would God instruct waters to bring forth abundance in the earth let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had life the fowl of the air can you imagine these birds you see where did they come from it's in your bible 21 <laughs> some of you are wondering why did i come to church today and god created the great whales and every living creature that moved which the waters brought forth abundantly which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every wing fall after its kind and God saw that what the waters produced was good look at me 70% of the earth thereabout is water am I right on that same with the human body no matter how healthy you are be starved of water for a while let everything still be fine in your body you will die isn't it a mystery I want you to take water and look at it in your hands and you will respect God in a new way what is this thing called water now the thing about water that is mysterious is that we found it here every bottle of water you are drinking you are not the first to drink it hmm. water has access to every human body the water you are drinking today <laughs> ah. how in the world the bottle you are using you are the first to use it but the water inside is as a result of evaporation and condensation did they not teach you in agriculture biology and science something called the water circle am I right on that evaporation condensation and the process repeats itself again my question is who else drank it before you listen you go and now ask Apostle John why he said there are three witnesses in heaven the spirit the word are we together and what the father and that all these three agree then when it comes to the earth it says there are three witnesses that means <laughs> Let, let's let's just let's just forget about that let me just teach you what is my curriculum to teach you this night and then we'll pray the spirit the water and the blood that means there is an information in what you are carrying the Bible calls it a witness when your body is dirty you don't use oil no matter what else you use it takes water mysteriously to cleanse your body watch this 
No matter what jam you put in water, no matter what debt you put in water, the water is not intimidated. It can evaporate and leave the debt there. Isn't this mysterious? That people who travel outside of space, scientists will tell you, they survive so long because they recycle every water there. Water is mysterious. It cannot be stained. You can never stain water with debt. You can never stain water with germs. No matter what virus you put there, you just allow light on that water and it will rise and leave the trouble there. This is a mystery that many of you have not studied. So you drink water and then your thirst is quenched. Am I right on that? And then after a while, you go and use the toilet, you ease yourself and everything is gone. And all of a sudden you find out that there's a deluge of water coming from the sky again. I am telling you, you are not the first to drink the water. In fact, every water in your body is older than you. <laughs> it had to be older than you to be formed. It had to be older than you to be born. Just use your mind. The church is a place of intelligence. Are we together? Wow. No wonder the devil can sit down and in the villages they will program all kinds of things in water. And all of a sudden, you find out that people's lives become a, all kinds of destructive things because of water. I'm not teaching you to go and idolize water. I'm just showing you that these five elements, they are mysterious elements that science has not even exhausted. Plants depend on it. Men depend on it. Everything on earth depends on water. Take away water from the earth and everything fails. Everything dries. There is something called drought, the absence of water within a predefined geographic area and it causes both men and animals to die. So the Bible says, until the spirit be poured upon us from on high in the similitude of water, Isaiah 32 and verse 15, it says, then the the wilderness that is bankrupt of water will be a fruitful field. Is that in your Bible? And a fruitful field will be counted for forest. So the Spirit of God can come in the similitude of water. If I speak over your life and I say in the name of Jesus be blessed, you are hearing it, that's why you can say amen. It is true sound. Are we together now? This is very powerful. When you are about to eat and you say, Father, thank you for this food. That was the combination of light, the combination of the earth, the combination of fire. Am I right on that? The meal on your table, what and what led to it? It's the same elements we are talking about. That's why it nourishes you. What you are eating on your table is light, <laughs> fire, water, Listen, you are my people and I'm teaching you something about the power of God. Huh? I will not go somewhere and go and share that. I'm teaching you because I will still come back again to teach and clear your confusion. But I am telling you, if you ever see the supernatural manifest anywhere in the Bible, these five elements were present. So, I wish we had time, we would have checked all these five elements in Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And he says, now the earth was void and formless, and the Spirit of God hovered around the face of the, the face of the, the face of the, verse 2. And God said, let there be, you see light there? And there was light, verse 4 now. And he saw that the light was good and he divided the light from darkness, verse 5. And the light he called day, the darkness he called night. The evening and the morning were the first day, verse 6. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. This is God creating now. And let it divide the waters from the waters, verse 7. God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. Verse 8, it says, And God called the firmament above heaven. The firmament in the earth, you know, that one he called seas and the rest. Verse 9, 
we'll find somewhere to pray he said let the waters under the heaven be gathered together in one place he's still talking water and dry land say earth say earth are you seeing these elements now and the dry land appeared and it was so verse 10 it says and God called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters he called sea and God saw that it was good when you read 11 you can read on and on and God said the earth that has now formed now bring forth vegetation the grass the herb yielding seed the fruit tree yielding fruit after it and you can keep on like that like that like that you keep seeing all of these manifestations every time the supernatural comes it comes through these five conduits they are mysterious elements they do not belong to the earth they were outsourced into the earth that's why none none of these five things experience death light does not die because it is not mortal hmm. listen carefully listen carefully listen carefully sound does not die is that true the earth does not die fire does not die water does not die all five of these elements death has no power over them if they were earthbound and they were mortal there would be a way of bringing them to an end you can't bring light to an end you can't bring sound to an end no, you can only stop it from walking within a room. Demon spirits know this. Back again to our herbalist people as we round up. Every time you go to a herbalist, this is the same combination you see. Earth, water, light, then words are spoken. The words is still sound. It's just that unfortunately, this is, is a satanic thing that is done to... to you, are, are we getting the point now? It is not an invention of the herbalist. It is a manipulation of the laws of God. Now, today as believers, it is not necessary to speak to sound, to speak to water. Look at me. It is not necessary to speak to light. I'm not teaching you to do that. All of the powers that were invested in those elements have today been transferred and put in a name. Listen carefully now. Are we together? So the Bible says, wherefore, God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above all names. He says that at the name of Jesus, now you will know what every knee must bow. The knee is not the knee of man. The knee is the knee of things. It's in your Bible. Of things in heaven, of things in the earth, of things under the earth. And then it says every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord that means the power that is in the name of Jesus watch this the power that God put in water the power he put in fire the power he put in light all of these powers have now they reside within the office of the Christ when God gives you the name he's given you dominion over water over fire over elemental forces are you getting what I'm teaching you now so you do not need to go and fetch water or fetch fire or fetch all of these things. Now, I know there is a place of prophetic action, communion and water, whatever it is. I am not saying it's intrinsically wrong, but I'm saying as the believer today, understand when you see people use water and all of that, it is not that what they are doing is not correct. It is that there is a superior approach that is given to the believer now. Are we together? That all of that has been invested in the name of Jesus. So I do not need to go and consult with water and say, water, you have abundance. Give it to me. That abundance is in the name of Jesus. What I would have done before to now sit down and say, water, bring me abundance. Fire, bring me abundance. Light, bring me abundance. I can say in the name of Jesus, I speak to my destiny. Open up the power in the earth that makes it to yield will make my destiny yield because it's now been invested in the name of Jesus. Are you getting that now? It's important to understand this so that you will now understand what the Bible means by saying the sun shall not smite you by day. 
How does the sun smite you? Who uses light to smite you? Evil spirits. But because you have the name of Jesus, you can speak and say in the name of Jesus, no weapon fashioned against me, whether by light, whether by water, anybody who takes your name to a herbalist, you don't also need to go and carry water or fire. Now, I'm not pleased with all due respect to the body of Christ. Every man of God is at liberty to practice whatever revelation he has. I'm not by this, let me put a disclaimer. I'm not insulting or downplaying or demeaning. No, 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 no. I'm teaching you the truth as superior revelations from the word of God. Are we together? I have acknowledged that these are elements that were created by God and that there is a dimension of God's power resident within them and that they are conduits for manifesting the supernatural. But the advantage that the believer has in Christ today is this name we have been given. Now you will respect what was put in the name of Jesus. So here's what he says. Silver and gold I do not have. In other words, I can't tell you go and wash in Siloam. I can't tell you go and do this. But such as I have, give I unto you in the name of Jesus. The name that has that power. I will not need to say wait in Bethesda until the stirring of the water. When the angel came in John 5, he stirred the water and whoever entered the water was healed. Jesus himself put sand in someone's eyes. I don't need to go and start putting sand in people's eyes today to be healed. Are we together? All I need to do is to speak over your job, speak over your life, provided it is in the name of Jesus. I release that power. So, when I am walking my laws, learning all the laws that bring prosperity, when I bring the name of Jesus to those laws, I empower them to produce. On their own, there is a dimension of God's power. But now, added to it, I have said in the name of Jesus, whether you pray on the food you are eating or not, it already carries health within it. But now, I give thanks. Because there is a devil, there is an enemy who can also manipulate these spiritual laws. Listen to me, believers. The greatest investment you have for your victory is that name. The power was invested in the name. Jesus went through all of these things and today we do not need to consult mediums or consult elements to get power. The most superior approach for the believer is to understand the power that is in the name of Jesus. When I get up in the morning and I see the sun shine, I know that it's empowering plants and animals and all of that. But listen to me, even if I remain in darkness for one year, I still will not die because there is a name. Are we together? The effect of what that son would have done, that name can do to me. Are we together now? Yes. I do not need to go and bath seven times, respectfully speaking, like Naaman, except if it comes as a prophetic instruction from God. But classically, as I'm speaking to you, that the believer's advantage today is in the name. Healing in the name. Prosperity in the name. Lifting in the name. Speed in the name. Even the communion that you take is in the name. The communion itself does not have any power. It is the name that is invested in it that empowers it. Otherwise, you are just taking maybe a, a drink and all of that. The anointing oil that you hold, it came from a plant connected to the earth, connected to water, connected to light. The anointing oil on its own does not bring you any miracle, except the name is invested on it. Is someone learning? So if I forget an anointing oil at home and say ah, i don't have an anointing oil don't worry did you forget the name that is the trouble many have carried the oil and forgotten the name mary carried water and forgot the name are we together now now i'm saying this to help the body of christ we're in the school of power listen when it has to do with power thank god for water thank god for light thank god for all of these things but the name of Jesus Christ has been exalted above everything and it's been given to the believer as an inheritance. When you have that name, with it you will command strange possibilities. And watch this, that name is able to manipulate even elemental forces to walk towards the favor of God's people. In other words, I can stand and speak over an atmosphere where there's drought and say rain. 
in the name of Jesus, I declare you begin to fall on this land. That rain will obey me. Why? Because I'm coming in the name of Jesus. Jesus is not a creation. He's not a creature. He is the creator himself. Is somebody understanding what I taught you tonight? God has all power. Now he's given Joshua Selman that power. I will not go and stand in front of a river, respectfully speaking, to consult and say, what will my destiny look like? Now I'm not insulting you. If that is the pathway you choose, that is fine. But there is a more superior way that in the name of Jesus, I can say by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost was given to me to lead me and guide me to understand the ways of God. And I can walk in it and walk with exactitude and precision. Are we together now? Yes. I can say in the name of Jesus, help us to find out the cure for this and that. And God himself, watch this, can lead you to those elements. Now, please hear me. I need to balance this as we wrap up. I am not teaching that engaging any of these elements in itself is sin. The inventions that we get in our hospital is God leading men back to the trees to combine formulas that treat malaria, that treat all of this. Are we together now? Yes. There are times I've prayed for people on water. There are times I've prayed for people on their oil. There's there are times that people come by faith. They just hold a bag of sand and say, Apostle, pray on this sand. There's no time explaining anything to them. Their faith has been connected to it. I just lay my hands and say, in Jesus' name, go in peace. Because when they come and as they keep learning the ways of God, they will now see that there is a more superior approach. By this teaching, you should not go down and start insulting people and say, see what you are doing. You are still using oil and water and that. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I will still use oil on you. I will still use whatever it is that God needs. But I am telling you that the power is not in the oil. Now, today, my confidence is not anointing oil. My confidence is not water. My confidence is not communion set. As wonderful as that is. Are we together now? Yes. My confidence is in the name of Jesus. If I lay my hands on that oil and you use it and it produces results, it is not because of the oil itself. It is because of the name of Jesus. Anybody who does not know Jesus will have to depend on those elements on their own and then sadly for many in partnership with demon spirits. Now, witchcraft operates in this manner. These spirits understand how to manipulate these formulas and they come and meet men. They said there is a cure for something in the village. Bow to me and I will show you the cure. So someone will come and bow to the devil and you say combine this leaf and combine that leaf. And the person will start doing it and start providing solution. And you'll be called the herbalist in the city and you'll make money from it. Like the lady with the spirit of divination. It brought money to their people. You would have called that prosperity. But when someone came in the name of Jesus... He said in the name of Jesus and he seized control of that and an end came to that. Anybody who uses the sun, anybody who uses fire, anybody who uses water against you is only wasting their time. That only works if you do not understand the power in the name. Are you getting what I'm teaching you now? With the name that you have, you do not fear manipulations of water, manipulations of this. So there can be water spirits, there can be demon spirits. There can be all kinds of spirits in the air. There can be manipulations with fire. But my confidence is that I'm coming in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No matter what is conjured against me, that no enchantments against Jacob. I don't need to also go and start pouring water and drink. No, no, I've become an herbalist. That will even become an embarrassment to the authority of that name. How many people have the name here? When you come into Christ, among the many things that you are given is that name. Access to that name. But it works by revelation. It works by revelation. Watch this. If a habali stands now and pours water in front of your compound and is shouting, some, some, someone, and pours water and throws it away, you should not get afraid and say, hey, he even held water. No, remember what I've taught you. They are playing with all these five elements, but you have the name of Jesus. You have authority over that thing. Now, you know what happened that Benson Idahosa, I think he was, 
or one of these people when they slaughtered an animal and kept it in front of him they went and cooked it and, and ate it or so if you use any of these elements some of you go to your offices and you see blood pepper salt all kinds of demonic things and you panic and run away no remember these are elements and they are only as powerful as your ignorance allows them now the name of Jesus that he's given you listen with one command with authority now if you don't know what I have taught you and you are just shouting in Jesus name you will waste your time and that time will work let me tell you the truth many people have not got this revelation and they've just carried bold face for nothing and they died like chickens the strength of the name of Jesus is not in pronouncing it like a chant it's in the understanding this is what gives us confidence Hallelujah. I have held many charms with my hands. Many. Usually when people want to, when people are repenting or confessing, they carry all these charms that they got from several places. And I say, bring it to me. Because they don't know what to do with it. And they warn them, if you keep it in your house, it will be the negative version of the ark of, of God in the house of Obed-Edom. And so I say, bring it. I know what to do with it tear that nonsense into pieces and throw it away i will not do that just by bold face it will kill you listen i'm saying this to you because i want you to walk out of this place knowing that i have power as you obey the laws of the kingdom expect it to work for you the laws of prosperity the law of honor all of these laws but in addition know that i have the name of jesus and whatever spirit wants to manipulate my life and destiny i can stand in the name of jesus and speak that everybody who has used water against me anybody who has used the sun against me anybody who has used the earth to make pronouncement i stand in the name of jesus and i declare that it, the effect is nullified that is the prayer we are going to pray for one minute can we pray that prayer for one minute rise up everybody say in the name of jesus Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that every manipulation from the air, from fire, from water, from the earth against my life and my destiny in the name of Jesus, let it be nullified now. Open your mouth and pray in one minute. I come by a superior manifestation of power. Power over the earth. Power over elemental forces. Power over water. Power over trees. Power over the sun. Someone pray. They only work to my advantage and not to my destruction. They only work to my advantage and not to my destruction. They only work to my advantage and not to my destruction. Hallelujah. Listen, please look at me. Give me a minute and we're done. Hear me. So the Bible says if they drink any deadly thing, is that in your Bible? that someone puts poison in water and say, let him take it and die. There is a covenant you have that you can even, it's not about just avoiding to drink it. Whether you drink it, that there is something the name does. Are we together? Yes. The same way water separates itself from death and it can live. You will be surprised that you are, it means water should not kill anybody. There are diseases called airborne, waterborne. You see, it ought not to be so because that air and water was created for the advantage of the believer, but manipulated by demons. I should not drink water and die. I should not eat food and die. They were not for my destruction. They were manipulated by the devil. No wonder the prophet said there is death in the pot. Today, right now, the devil has manipulated all kinds of foods. And now you almost don't know what to eat again. Because it looks like there is death in everything. Fear not. Walk within the advice of medical doctors. But can I tell you, shout the name of Jesus on that plate. And eat well. And go to bed. Are we together? Yes. 
I can go somewhere and get the water. I don't know who produced it. I don't know his covenant with the devil. But from the time it entered my house, loyalty changed. The bag of rice that comes to my house, I don't know who said it. In fact, if somebody prepares some, I'm saying this because there is so much fear in believers. Who prepared this? Who put this? Ah, I'm about to die. You are going to live a frustrated Christian life that way. It is the evil you know that you fight. What of the one you do not know? There are many believers who cannot do. It's out of fear. Somebody innocently can give you a wristwatch and say, uh-huh, you see, he gave me a wristwatch. This is a programming for delay, please. Please. And you may be right, but what is the advantage of your presence? What is the advantage of the name? There are many restaurants that we may go and eat in. You don't know what the people believed. You can't sit in fear all the days of your life. Apostle, what if somebody wants to kill me? It's not what if. There is somebody on earth that wants to kill you. For sure. I can tell you that for free. Your immunity is in the name. Your immunity. This is a summary of my message. We're in the school of power. Your immunity is in the name. That for as long as you stand in that name, no divination and no enchantment, and you can speak to elemental forces, and I assure you by God that they will obey you. Give Jesus a big hand clap. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me make the altar call. Next time you go to visit somebody and he says, what did you bring for me? Tell them I brought a name. You mean you didn't bring even a bag of water? Now I'm saying, respect elders and carry all these things. But with it, add a name. And tell them, in the name of Jesus, I speak blessings upon this family. And walk away. By next week, they will call you back and say, please speak again. Whatever you said last week started changing things. Are we together now? You are here and you've not given your heart to Jesus Christ. The name will not work for you. The name of the Lord is only for believers who are in Christ. And perhaps while you heard me teach, the Lord began to speak to you to say, make it right with Jesus. Our time is fast spent. Power, genuine power, resides only with an encounter with Jesus. The power that comes with laws and principles like you have learned is limited. I'm about to count one to five. I know that our time is fast spent, but for the sake of one person who wants to make it right with Jesus, I do not want this service to end without giving you that opportunity. Wherever you are, I want you to leave your seat very boldly and come and stand in front here. I begin my counting now. One, come. Come. God bless you. God bless you. These are not the only ones. Come. Gentlemen, make it right with Jesus. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Celebrate men and women who are about to have access to the name, the name that is above every other name, above every other name, above sicknesses and diseases. Hallelujah. If you are joining them, please come quickly. I want to lead them to pray right now. You are joining them, please come quickly. If you don't pray the prayer, you are not saved. Remember, God bless you. Hallelujah. Now, say this after me. Lift your right hand. Let me request, please. Lift your right hand. God bless you. Thank you for the boldness to come. It's never too late to make it right with Jesus. Say this after me. Say it loud and clear. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I come to you just as I am. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior, as my Lord, and as my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over me. From tonight and forever, I am a child of God, saved by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for this once. The Bible declares that as many who will come to him, you will no wise despise and cast away. I decree and declare by the authority of Scripture that your sins are forgiven. 
and tonight begins a new season in your life. You'll go from glory to glory and grace to grace. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen and amen. Please let me request that you move to my right, which will be your left. You have a word very quickly with the counselors, and then you'll be back to your seat. Let's give them a big, big hand clap. Hallelujah. Are you celebrating them? In the name of Jesus, I speak over your life that this name you have, you have found as an inheritance, let it work wonders this week. In the name of Jesus Christ. And like we have learned, anybody who tries to use elemental forces against you, they will see the superior power of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. By this Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our home page for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline 